the completed daily makeup. I think I've almost failed that class. Love how this came out. I believe it's back to school season already. Summer really came and went so fast this year. Personally, I'm glad I'm no longer a student. But I thought in season with things. I would do sort of a back to school themed vlog. Office room, my desk is in serious need of a makeover. I'm going on a trip next week. I'm going to see some family in Seattle. So I'm going to be making over my desk and office room. Going to a few appointments I have scheduled. Showing you some quick and easy meals that you can make after school or just on busy nights. As well as some general back to school inspo. Glow up back to school. Oh my gosh, there's a spider on the wall. I don't even remember what I was saying. Why is there actually like 10 million parts to this? Friend is somewhere out there. Wait.
My nails long. Okay, I know I already have that small pegboard from Ikea. But I need a bigger one. I always have so much wall space above my desk. I'm not a minimalist gal. I like my space to be full and colorful. And I have a lot of mini prints. I'm not someone who can decide on larger pieces of artwork, but I like the look of collaging a bunch of little items and it's less pressure because I can always change them out or adjust them based on the season. Also, I got this new phone case that I want to show you. This is the Anchor Maggo Magnetic Case with 360 degrees silicone ring holder. Thank you so much to Anchor for sponsoring this video. This is such a great phone case for back to school season. What I love about it is it's a two-in-one phone case and stand. It has a soft 360 degree rotatable silicone ring, which provides a great grip if you're taking selfies, if you're laying on the couch watching videos and you don't want to hit your face. It's complemented by its magnetic stand, so it's perfect if you're in the kitchen cooking and you need a recipe on your phone, watching something while you're studying. It can be propped up both horizontal and vertical. Cases are also MagSafe compatible and come in a variety of colorful pastel colors. It's also built for durability with its military grade protection and shock absorbent materials for ultimate impact resistance. And of course, it's important to keep the entire phone safe. So not only the back of the phone, but the screen needs to be protected as well. The Anchor Easy Fit Screen Protector Kit provides shatterproof screen protection and the Easy Fit Kit allows you to apply it perfectly every time. Be sure to click the link in my description to check out this phone case and screen protector.
I have these two crates left over from when I did my kitchen makeover and I saw some people displaying their collect books. reason I got this filing storage system. I saw a lot of photos on Pinterest like this. all morning decorating but I have to say I'm quite impressed with how it turned out this corner I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I was thinking I could put maybe some small art pieces up here but I kind of like it just with these over here I have my on studio calendar and this photo book with all my photo strips and then here is my binder of all my stickers well it's not all of it but it's quite a lot I used one of these crates to keep some extra stickers. Here is my film camera, which I decorated with stickers. I don't know, some of them are starting to get nasty, so I might have to redecorate her soon. I love how this came out. A lot of the pictures I hooked on with paper clips or binder clips too, so I can easily switch it out and I don't have to commit to like stickers. I decorated some of the blank space with washi tape and these gem stickers. pegboard i'm still working on it i want to add a few more pictures at the top because this place is kind of blank right now i'm not sure what i'm going to put in these empty drawers and containers i decorated this little box i got from daiso to carry some extra die cut stickers down here i have some more journals and my receipt shutter from muji Thank you. 
while I do it, I'm gonna be answering some questions from Instagram that y'all had about school, about going to college. I got a lot of requests for an updated makeup routine, but honestly, not much has changed since the last time I showed it to you. Right now, I'm putting on eyelid tape. Well, that dries, so I'm gonna prep the face. And then I use the Clinique Moisture Search Face Spray. It's funny because when I posted this Q&A on Instagram, people were like, You're going back to school? Girl, you could not pay me to go back to school. Well, okay. You could. It would have to be a very, very convincing amount. <laughs> I can't say I miss school itself, like the academic part of it, the studying part, but also half of my college experience was during COVID. I only had one and a half years actually on campus. But that was my entire college experience. I may have a different perspective on it. I got a lot of questions about how to make friends, join extracurriculars. At the beginning of the year, they'll have like an activity fair or club fair of some sort. I would recommend going around to that and joining and anything that piques your interest even slightly. This is a great way to meet people with common interests and most of the people there at these clubs just want to meet new people too. You're probably nervous because you feel like you don't have friends and it's a new scary environment. Those first few weeks of college, everyone else is also figuring it out. They're also trying to get comfortable. Even just in your classes, if you see someone sitting by themselves, sit next to them, ask if they want to start a study group or study with you after class. I'm making it sound so easy and I'm the first one to know it's not. If you're an introvert or a shyer person like I am, you have to change your mindset about it. Think of it as no one there knows you yet. They have no preconceived ideas about who you are, so you have nothing to lose. What are some practical meal prep ideas for university students? Mm. During my one and a half years living on campus, I didn't do any cooking because I was on a meal plan, but now I'd say have a designated day, probably on the weekend, where you can prepare your food for the week. So whether that means actually cooking it and freezing it, you can marinate chicken or whatever type of protein you want. I would also recommend preparing things like salads, super versatile, you can put them in a lunchbox as is. You can put them in a wrap for more of a sandwich. And the thing about salads is you can always add more to them. So whatever leftovers you may have, if you have leftover protein, if you have leftover rice, you can toss that in there. I can't get myself to study. The senior is, is hitting already. Senioritis is so real. Albeit, I never actually was in the mood to study, like, ever. But when you feel the engineering, it is so hard to find motivation. Set my face with a Laura Mercier setting powder. How I would stay motivated, I actually use this method throughout all of college. I would plan little events or little hangouts with friends. I'm not allowed to hang out with them unless I get my work done. And tell your friends this too. Tell them that- Don't let me hang out with you unless I have my homework done. Hopefully your friends are not enablers, like, I'm lining around it. But my friends would also make sure to keep me accountable. Another tip, if you have a group of friends in the same class or if you have a study group, ask them to hold you accountable. I will always go on Do Not Disturb and text my friends, hey, I'm having a study session. If I text you within the next three hours, yell at me. I started adding layers of setting spray to my routine, so after I finished the base, how did you organize your time? So because I was trying to graduate early and I was also balancing internships off campus as well as my on-campus jobs, I would write a very strict timed schedule for myself every day. I did like bullet journaling and stuff, but you can do this on your iPad, on Google Calendar, create time blocks so I could visualize exactly how my day is laid out, where my hours are going. And because I had so much going on at the time, I would try to double down in any way I could. My main job while I was on campus was working at the library front desk. Purposely tried to work that job because I knew I would have a lot of time to study while I was there. I was also on usher duty for our campus theater. So while the plays were going on, I would be studying then too because I only had to usher before and after the events. Took on note-taking jobs and any classes that needed them. That way it was like a two for one. I would do all the studying on my own, take my notes, and then I would copy them to make a little cash on the side. How do I study and not get distracted every 30 seconds? If you're working in a place like a library and they have like a charging port for your phone, put your phone over there and walk away from it. If you're getting distracted on your laptop and you have to work on your laptop, this is when I like working in public places like at a cafe cafe or in the dining hall. That way I can't be watching videos because I would be 
worried if people would see me. It's not really something you should be worried about or have to worry about, but potential pressure of someone catching me not working and like sitting there watching YouTube videos or something, that would motivate me. Favorite and least favorite subjects in school. My favorites were anytime I got to be in like an art or creative elective. Because I studied film, I got to do a lot of that. I think my worst subject or the class that I got the lowest grade in was my science lab, Geology 101 or something that was supposed to be super easy. This was in my first semester and I purposely scheduled all of my STEM classes at the same time because I just wanted to get it done with. I scheduled all those classes in the morning so I could have the afternoon free to study and recuperate after what I'd done to myself. But I kept forgetting that my one science lab was in the afternoon. I may have almost failed that class because I didn't show up to enough of the labs. I did have to put in a lot of work towards the end of it just to even things out. This is the completed daily makeup. If I wasn't chatting and answering all the questions, I wanna say this would take me like 20 minutes to do. I could probably cut it down like five or some more minutes if I really tried. One of my favorite ways to save time cooking dinner on a week or during the busy school year is to use the rice cooker as a two-in-one way to cook the meal. Not only can you save time by cooking the vegetables in the rice cooker, you can already start the flavoring process by cooking in something like chicken stock or a soy sauce mix like I'm doing. It's kind of similar to fried rice in the sense that it flavors the rice for you so you don't have to go in and add sauce later. 